In this video, I explain how to create recurring tasks in monday.com. I go over the basic setup and a few additional things that might be of value to you. Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up your monday.com system for your business, check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Like I just mentioned in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to create recurring tasks inside of monday.com. Now, as you can see, I'm in my demo workspace and I am on an example board. This can be done for any board. What we need to do is go to the automate in the top right hand corner. And what we want to do is press create custom automation. Or if you can't see this option here, just go to custom on the bottom left hand side and then go ahead and press create custom automation. So we firstly need to define the when. So go ahead and select when this happens. And as you can see here, we've got a few different options. We are looking for the every time period, which is presented on this small pop up here. If you cannot see it, just go to more options and search in the top right hand corner every time period and go ahead and select that option. Now we need to define the every time period and we can define it by daily, weekly or monthly. So it's entirely up to you which one is going to be most applicable. In this example, I want a reminder to run payroll at the end of every month, just for an example for this video. So I'm going to select the 28th of every month every one month at 10 a.m. That should be absolutely fine. You can say every two months, so every two months you get this recurring reminder, or every three months, maybe it's quarterly to do your tax return or something like that. But I'm just gonna select every month at 10 a.m. on the 28th of the month. So now we've defined the time period criteria, we now need to create the action. So in order to do this, then we need to go to the then do this button, and we've got a few different options here. In this particular instance, I just wanna create an item, but as you can see, we can create group, duplicate group, create item in board, and notify. But as I said, we're creating re recurring tasks. So I'm going to press create item and then I'm just create add item. I'm going to call this run payroll or just run pay. And then you can assign it to someone. You can select the status to let's say working on it and obviously the date and what other whatever other column values you have. You can also change the group as well. So now what I've told the system is every month on the 28th of every month at 10 a.m. create an item to run payroll, which is essentially a recurring task. One additional thing you can do is press the plus button and you can create a notification for someone to receive a notification to let them know that they need to run payroll. So in this instance, I'm just gonna press notify and then say run pay and then change the someone or set the someone to however it may be. So for in this instance, I'm gonna assign it to myself. And once you're happy, just go ahead and press the create automation. And every month on the 28th, an item will be created and I will be notified to do the thing. So hopefully that has explained how you create recurring tasks inside of monday.com and I will see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you now have all of your recurring tasks set up and reminding you what you need to do and when you need to do it. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving the video a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.